Watching Johnson vlog, and today I got something pretty exciting going on. I got a new bike, and it's pretty fast compared to what I've had in the past. Um, if you're curious how I got it, I did not pay for it, I traded it. Traded the 2009 KX250, I'll insert it here if you don't remember what it was. And yeah, so I traded that, and uh, let me show you what I got. And this is what we got we got a 2002. KX 252 stroke. Uh, I missed riding two strokes, as you know. The last time I tore apart my 125, it is everywhere. I have not messed with it whatsoever off a of video. I wish I'd record the uh, whole process of taking it apart, but it is what it is. So here's the cool thing: we got a pretty raggedy seat. We got pretty raggedy, you know, plastics. Thing ain't horrible, but. We got the exact model of my 125 sitting over there with all the same parts. The only difference between the two bikes is the motor size. Everything is an exact swap. So this video is going to be me swapping all the plastics on my 125, my seat. Some of the things are bad on this bike. One of the things was is the shock. Shock is terrible. Uh, it's very bouncy. Uh, the other thing, it's not terrible, but this clutch it needs some help this this just looks raggedy i, I want to fix that uh, handlebars are bent so the ups of this bike we got kke wheels as you see right there it's got green nipples green hub black wheels i love it uh something i was going to do to my other 125 but never got to it. and we got a kke sprocket uh we'll be changing these this chain uh, I know everybody loves the green chains on these Kawasaki, so they end up breaking. I had my 125 one and rammed up there and ruined the case, so we're definitely getting rid of that. I'm super ecstatic about the bike. Uh, I bet you're wondering, like, how is that a fair trade? You may be wondering that, I don't know. Uh, the 2009 KX250 was not doing too hot. Uh, had the top end replaced a couple months ago. Had, uh, and it's just been sitting in the garage for a while. So when I went to go meet up with this dude, neither of us really told each other like uh, if, they, if we had any real issues with the bike. Like I didn't know the shock was messed up or the handlebars were bent until after I got there. The carburetor on my bike was leaking out the uh, the gasket at the float. So that was a problem with my bike. When I got there, I told the guy it started perfectly, which it usually does, get there and it would not start. So we roll started, got it going, and after that it fired up first kick every time. So. I don't really know what was going on with that. I think it was worth it. This thing's quick. I ain't even gonna lie. I rode it once and it wheelies in every gear, no matter how hard you push down on it. I'm hoping changing the shock and it won't be so jumpy. Maybe that'll help. But man, it is something crazy. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll talk about what we've been doing as I'm taking off these parts. So kind of get a gist of what's going on. All right. so. Uh, by the way, I'm going to insert a clip right now of me pressure washing this bike. It was disgusting at first. I'll do it before and after type of thing, and I'll do that here.
When, right now, what I'm doing is taking off some plastics and I'm gonna just talk while I'm doing it. Okay, so first off, uh, I live on my own now. I moved my building here just a few months ago. I've lived here for about a year now. And so yeah, I just moved my building here. Haven't got a ramp on it yet. Um, haven't really been riding bikes much. I've just been focusing on life a lot. I guess like pretty soon I've been just been working and stuff. And Justin, uh, Justin hasn't, hasn't rode either. And Justin actually, he still has a 2009 KX250, the Monster Energy version. And he also just bought his daughter a uh, CRF50 for her to learn on. Um, unfortunately, when she first started riding it, she got scared, fell off. So, and she didn't want to ride it no more because she got scared. So, ended up buying her some training wheels. And she's like, she's, I mean, she's really ripping it. She's fast on it. Uh, we're very glad she's liking it now. Hopefully she can work up confidence with the training wheel. So, why we haven't posted. Long story short, got, got tired of it. We were doing it pretty often for a while. And we were doing videos I was really interested in. And then we started doing like some tool reviews and stuff. And I don't know, I got really tired of doing that type of stuff. I didn't feel like editing the videos and uh, pretty much jaded jaded about it, you know. Just didn't feel like doing it anymore. And uh, if I ain't going to enjoy doing it, I'm not going to do it, that type of thing. We wanted to get back into it for a while. The channel has grown so much, just even over the period of us not posting anything. It's went up like two or three hundred subscribers, which is insane. And we appreciate all the support. The, the plan is now to make videos we want to make so i'm hoping to do more riding videos and more dirt bike videos and get out of the tool review type of stuff you're about to witness with me what the air filter is looking like i'm kind of nervous oh my god dude that is ridiculous and that is nasty this is the good thing about the 125 because I can just switch it right over. I keep on running out of storage so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna take the uh front fork plastics off i guess that's how i'm gonna do it is, uh, so i just stuck that one on there i'm about to put the bolts in so as i'm doing stuff i'll just you know just do a little clip and you can just kind of watch that kind of process and we got the first fork guard done i guess next i'm gonna try to get the gas tank uh replaced now we got the gas tank replaced uh, you might be wondering why i've done that uh Last time I had to take stickers off this part. There's a lot of shit right there. You have to take gas and rub it on there. It takes a while. So I just figured I'd go ahead and swap them out. All right, so we got, what is that? Left, left side shroud, number plate, and front fender on. Uh, now we got the uh, right side fork guard, and that right shroud, and some part of the rear fender on. Got to do like three more bolts to get it, and then just finish that. All right, y'all, we finally finished the bike. We got all the plastics on, mud flat. I decided not to do the shot because I got a buddy coming over tomorrow. He wanted to try it out, see how he liked it. And uh, I figured that'd take too long. It's already like 1230 in the morning. That's a wrap on this video. Hope you enjoyed what I could record. Unfortunately, I'm having to like stop it on and off to get some footage. Hope you liked the video. Uh, Hope you're excited for us to come back. Um, hoping once, once or twice a month uh, to get something up. That's like minimum. That's what I want. So, hopefully we can get that done. Uh, so, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or concerns or just want to comment something, comment. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.
super important and uh, hit that notification bell if you want to see some of our upcoming videos that are you know coming soon uh, that we will be doing from now on uh so i'll see y'all later